Ready to start an LLC in Florida? You've come to the right place. In today's video, we'll break down the process into seven straightforward steps ensuring you can get your LLC up and running in no time. Whether you're planning to handle it yourself or considering a service like Taylor Brands, which we will discuss later, we've got tips and shortcuts to help you avoid common mistakes and unnecessary fees. Plus, we'll cover some crucial post-formation tasks that are often overlooked but essential for keeping your LLC in good standing. Stay with us, and let's make your business dreams a reality. Ready to begin? Let's dive right in. Step 1. Choosing a business name. First things first, pick a name that rocks. This is deceptively important since name issues are the primary cause of LLC filing rejections in Florida. Remember these rules, end your name with LLC, L.L.C, with periods after each letter, or limited liability company. Stay away from names that make you look like a government agency, bank, insurance company, or any licensed business. Avoid words that imply a different business entity, like corp, bank, nonprofit, or trust. Most importantly, make sure your chosen name is unique and stands out from the rest. To find out more about naming guidelines set by the Florida Department of State, visit Florida Secretary of State's website. You can easily check name availability for free through the Florida portal online at sunbiz.org. Step 2. Finding a registered agent. This is a necessary step when completing your articles of organization. More on that in Step 3. This person or business entity will receive important legal documents on behalf of your LLC, like notices from the government, complaints, or legal documents. The agent must have a physical address in Florida. They can be a resident of the state above 18 or a company other than your own. You can also be your registered agent or appoint a friend or family member for this role. Just remember, the name and address of the registered agent will become public record, and no, you can't get around it by using a P.O. box or a mail service like UPS. Paying for a registered agent service costs about $10 a month or less. Besides protecting your privacy, it frees you from some paperwork, saving you hours that may be dedicated to your business. If you file through our friends at Taylor Brands, they'll provide registered agent services for just $199 per year. They also have a full LLC formation package which I will talk about a bit later. We really like that they scan your mail so you can check it all virtually. We've negotiated specifically with Taylor Brands and other services and may earn a commission if you choose to use our links, but we do recommend their service for its value and privacy protection. Step 3. Filing your LLC Articles of Organization This is the step that registers your LLC with the Secretary of State, so congrats! This document includes the LLC name, principal place of business, mailing address, registered agent info, and LLC manager information. Filing costs $125. You can do it online through the Florida Department of State's website. It's the quickest option, typically taking between 2 to 5 business days to get approved. Alternatively, you can download form CR2E047, fill it out, and mail it with a check to the Department of State. At the fastest, you can expect approval in about 12 business days. Once approved, you'll receive stamped articles of organization and an acknowledgement letter. Congrats, your LLC is officially formed. But we're not done just yet. Step 4. Create an LLC Operating Agreement Here is a little secret, it's not mandatory by Florida law, but creating an LLC operating agreement is highly recommended. Think of it as the document that governs your limited liability company. You don't need to file it anywhere, but trust us, make one. Why, you ask? It keeps everyone on the same page, minimizes conflicts, and helps maintain your personal liability protection. Some banks may ask for it too when you open a business bank account or pursue loans. Step 5. Obtaining an LLC Employer Identification Number or EIN We're almost there. The next step is to obtain an LLC EIN, which is a federal tax identification number. This unique number allows the IRS to identify and track your business's tax and filing status. You'll need the EIN to open a business bank account, manage federal and state taxes, and hire employees. The process is super simple and completely free of charge through the IRS. 
Only after you get confirmation that your LLC's name and information have been approved, head to the federal government's IRS application portal and fill out the online form. Make sure you only go through the official federal site. Never pay anyone for an EIN. There are a lot of scammy sites out there that come up when you Google it, so just be mindful. Step 6, File a Beneficial Ownership Information Report. Beginning January 2024, LLC owners need to file a Beneficial Ownership Information Report BOI, with the U.S. Financial Crimes Enforcement Network FinCEN. New LLCs will need to file their report within 90 days of formation. The BOI report contains information meant to identify the true owners of an LLC. There is no charge for filing it, but failure to file an accurate report on time can result in a $500 per day fine. You can do this either online or by mail. The final step, which is step 7, comply with tax requirements. Death and taxes, the two things in life we cannot avoid. Unfortunately, to operate and run daily business activities, you must first get and file any licenses and permits within the state and local agencies, then pay your taxes. Your state determines your tax filing, license, and permit requirements. You'll find what you need on the SBA.gov website or by contacting your Secretary of State's office. So those are the seven steps you'll need to complete to successfully create an LLC. A lot of it seems overwhelming, especially when you're just starting up and wanting to learn. Thankfully, with the help of Taylor Brands, everything I've just explained can be done within a couple of minutes with minimal effort. Don't believe me? Well, I'm now going to show you how to use Taylor Brands. Once you click the first link in the description, you'll be taken to the same page as me. First, you want to choose the state. I'll select Florida and click Get Started. Next, you want to go ahead and put in your business name. For example, I'm going to go ahead and do Jack Beans. I'm then going to go ahead and check if it's available or not. There we go, this is available, so I can go ahead and click Next. Taylor Brands tells you how they would form your LLC. First off, you need to tell them about your business. You then get an LLC recommendation. You then form your LLC, and they will keep you up to date on your LLC. For the most part, you just want to go ahead and click Next. You then need to specify what stage your business is in. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and choose taking the first steps, and then I'll go ahead and click Next. They ask when you're planning to launch your business, so I'm going to go ahead and choose as soon as possible, and I'll go ahead and click Next. Now you want to specify what your business is about. I'm going to go ahead and say my business is about a coffee shop. I'll go ahead and type that in like so, click that, and then you need to specify if it's a physical good or a professional service. Mine will be a physical good, so I'll go ahead and click that and then click Next. You then need to answer whether or not you would have hired employees. For my business, because I'm running a coffee shop, for example, I'll go ahead and click yes, and then I'll click next. You then need to say where you'll be operating from. I'm going to go ahead and put in a random postal code, and then I'll go ahead and choose these three options here, so is online, at your brick and mortar, so pretty much an IRL shop, so in person or on the go. I'm going to go ahead and choose at your brick and mortar like so, and then I'll go ahead and click next. You can then choose between these options to apply to your business, a logo, a website, a trademark, etc. For the most part, you probably want a lot of these, so I'm going to go ahead and take all of them because I'd like all of them, and then you can also type your own if you'd like. After that, I'll go ahead and click next. Then there is a checklist for what you already have in your business. For example, if you already have a logo within your business or a domain or a registered agent, you can go ahead and tick these. However, if you do not have any of these, you can go to the very bottom here and click none of the above. For my example, I don't have any of these, so I'm going to go ahead and click that, and then I'll click next. You then want to go ahead and fill out your basic information, your name, last name, phone number, and your email address. After you've done that, you go ahead and click next. Taylor Brands will offer to help you get your own EIN, so if you do need help getting your own EIN, you will be charged $99 after your application is reviewed. After you've chosen, you can then go ahead and click Next. 
Taylor Brands then offer to give you a registered agent, so if you already have one, of course, you don't really need to do this, but if you don't, I highly recommend it because they make your life a lot easier, and they're very flexible and easy to work with. So if you were to choose this option, you will be charged $199 every year. Once you've chosen, you can go ahead and click next. Get Taylor Brands to keep your LLC compliant or if you didn't want to handle it yourself, you can choose between the two. However, if you do choose Taylor Brands, you will be charged $199 annually. Once you've chosen that, you can go ahead and click next. Then you also get an offer to use their toolkit. So with the toolkit, you'll get a domain, create logos, a website, and an online store, a range of other essential tools, all in one place to set up your business online and reach customers. So I do highly recommend the toolkit as it gives you a lot of other things you can add such as a logo or domain or even a website. However, if you do not want to use the toolkit, you can choose between these two options. After you've chosen, you can go ahead and click next. Then you can choose to get your LLC faster, so if you go with the expedited filing time, it should come within 2 business days. However, if you do want to wait, it will come within 14 days, so it's entirely up to you if you are in a rush or you want to be patient. If you do go with the expedited filing time, it will come at $49, so it's your choice there. After this, you can go ahead and click next. You can then choose to get an operating agreement from Taylor Brands. Or if you want to figure out that by yourself, you can choose that. Of course, if you do choose to get an operating agreement with Taylor Brands, you will be charged $29, so after that, you can go ahead and click next. They then offer to create you a free business account, so it's free, so I wouldn't see why you wouldn't unless you already have an account. So for the most part, you probably want to go ahead and click, I want a free account. I'll then go ahead and click next. And then based on what you have checked and what you have chosen throughout this little survey, they will offer you a plan. So as you can see, Taylor Brands has offered the Elite LLC plan which includes the following. I'll go ahead and explain the other plans in just a moment. However, if we go ahead and scroll down here, you can choose to uncheck or check a registered agent and an EIN as well and get your free business banking account. Now do keep in mind with any plan you choose, there will be a state fee. Now obviously the state fee will be different depending on which state you choose, so please keep that in mind. Of course, if you are happy with what you are getting offered, you can go ahead and click proceed. However, if you do want to have a look at the other plans, I will now show you the other plans. So there is the light option which comes at $0. Of course, you will have to pay the state fee. This may differ depending on which state you choose. So the light plan, you get an LLC formation and it will be processed in up to 14 business days. Then there is the essential plan which comes in at $199 per year. Just like all the others, it comes with the state fee as well. So with the essential plan, you get annual compliance and it is processed in up to 2 business days. And of course, you get an LLC formation, expedited processing, annual compliance, and an operating agreement. Then there is the Elite plan which is recommended by Taylor Brands and comes at $249 and it is billed annually or yearly. This comes with annual compliance and branding tools, and it is processed in up to 2 business days. Now with the Elite plan, you get the most of course considering it is the highest paid plan. However, it is the most worth paid plan. So of course, you'll get an LLC formation, expedited processing, annual compliance, and an operating agreement. You get a 1-year free domain, 8 free logos, a DIY website builder and online store, a digital business card, a social media post maker, and a business card toolkit. They value this at $432, however the full plan is at $249. So regarding choosing a plan, again it is entirely up to you and your situation. However, I do recommend the Elite plan considering how much more you get with the Elite plan. So after you've chosen, you can go ahead and select which plan is right for you. So for this video, I'm going to go ahead and select the Elite plan. So assuming you are happy with your current plan, you can go ahead and click proceed and then you'll be asked to choose either PayPal or card, entirely up to you guys. So within a couple of minutes, we went through a process with Taylor Brands and have successfully created our own LLC. 
So if you have to choose between creating an LLC on your terms or creating an LLC with Taylor Brands, I do believe it is a no-brainer to go with Taylor Brands considering how much they offer for such a great price as well as they do all the work for you without you needing to do much at all. Simply fill out a survey, choose the plan, and there you go, you have an LLC. Post Formation Steps There are a couple of important things we need to cover before we wrap up. After you've successfully formed your LLC, there are a few important things to keep in mind. An LLC in Florida must file a Florida LLC annual report to remain active. If you don't, your LLC will be dissolved by the state and you'll be shut down. The annual report filing fee is $138.75 and must be filed before May 1st every year, starting the year after you have formed. If you're late, you owe an extra $400, and no, Florida does not offer programs to waive the late fee at all anymore. You can only file this report online through the Division of Corporations site. You don't get any documents back, so if you want to double-check your status, you can look it up under your LLC's document images section on the SunBiz site. Next, make sure you don't need any city or county-specific business licenses. Contact your officials to find the specific licenses or permits your LLC will need. If your business sells taxable goods or services, you're going to need to register with this website. This is also where you report newly hired, rehired, and temporary employees within 20 days of an employee's start date. Next, keep your business assets and transactions separate from personal ones to maintain the limited liability protection provided by your LLC. Get a separate business checking account and business credit card. Having an accountant can help you manage your finances effectively. And lastly, check to see what insurance protection you may need. Having business insurance is wise since all businesses face risks. Besides, some types of insurance are required by law. To simplify this whole process, consider enlisting the help of an accountant or a service like Taylor Brands, which also offers tax and accounting services. They can manage many of these steps for you, saving you time and effort so you can focus on actually running your business. Seriously, it's worth it. And there you have it. So hopefully, this video has helped you to form an LLC of your own. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you did want to get to Taylor Brands, there will be a link down below that you guys can click on. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.